The Indy 500 is the biggest one-day sporting event anywhere in the world. 400,000 people come to watch this race that lasts three and a half hours. The Andretti engineering team's mission is to provide the fastest race car possible. It's a pretty simple goal, but it's incredibly difficult to pull off. There is no detail on the car that's too small for us to consider. A tenth of a second could be the difference between qualifying tenth and qualifying second or third. Every nut, bolt, fastener, piece of carbon fiber, if it doesn't count, it shouldn't be on the car. We receive from Dallara in Italy a chassis that consists of the tub where the driver will sit in, the suspension, the uprights, which the wheels mount to. We get an engine from Honda. For 2015, we have the aero kit, so that goes on top, bottom, surrounding everything to create the downforce for the car. Specifically, when it comes to Indianapolis, the added complexity for the engineers this year is to take advantage of the extra downforce that the car generates, to take that wider envelope, and to try and decide what is the optimum package to race at. We're constantly pushing the laws of physics because we are only using small bits of aluminum or stainless steel and plastics. We have to work very carefully with the teams to understand the challenges that they're up against. Everything is on the edge and everything is really small things to make a difference to winning. As a driver, you are sitting in this car and you are driving at 220 miles an hour next to a concrete wall, so you definitely have to trust the components. The engineer is really important in starting to find those little things that can make you maybe a tenth quicker in every corner that is going to make a difference in winning the race. I always feel like a little kid in a candy store. You get out there and do what you love to do and you become part of the race car.